let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The judgment time. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth. Leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 1 to 2. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. Second lesson, Ephesians chapter 6 verses 5 to 8. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. Golden text, Colossians chapter 3, verses 22 to 25. Servants, obey in all things your masters, according to the flesh, not with eye service, as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not to men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong, which he hath done, and there is no respect of person. Quote, Brethren, when you say you do not want to attend any service in the battle, after going out to steal, fornicate, and do one evil thing or the other, you lie down to sleep, you are harming yourself. All the things people did right from the time of Adam till date. This is the time for the reward. All the things you committed, whether they were good or bad, you have to receive the due reward. This is clear to all that there is no cheating in it. The idea of grumbling and murmuring of being someone's servant does not come in here. If you lived with someone and served him faithfully, you will be rewarded. Your reward is even the greatest. It is said that what a man sows, same shall he reap. Whatsoever one does, one will not fail to reap the reward. Even if it is a child born today, any good thing he does, he stands to receive reward from God. If it is evil, he stands to receive the reward. Whether you live in a place as a stranger, any good thing you do, the reward is there for you from God. Whether you are a servant, any good thing you do, you will definitely receive the reward. 
If you have a father who is good unto you, do not use that as a yardstick to refuse doing good to him. Serve him diligently because you will receive the due reward from God. If you have a good master who is good in taking care of you, reciprocate his action by being faithful to him. Serve him day and night because the Father will reward you. The end of the world has come and there is no more laxity. Whatever one does, he receives the reward accordingly, whether you are a small child or an old man. This is the time all hands must be on deck because God is around to reward everybody according to what he has done. When you are given one thing or the other, you pray to God to bless that person. This is not enough. Reciprocate anything somebody has done to you so as to receive your reward from God. One only receives blessing when he is found to have done any good thing. When you find yourself watching over another man's estate, do this diligently. If you are a gardener to someone, do it wholeheartedly. Whether you sell for someone or you are a wife to someone, be faithful and do it as if you are doing it unto God. Because for all the things you do, the reward comes back to you. Stop lamenting. Stop being trickish. Stop stealing and telling lies. Stop killing people. Because whatsoever you do, the reward comes back to you. Engage yourself in good services. Because God, the rewarder, is around taking record of whatever thing you do. The children of God, in one of their renditions, say, the king is around with his holy men to judge the whole world according to what every man has done. This is the time of judgment a time when God is judging and rewarding every man according to what he has done. Whatever thing you do, whether it is good or evil, you will receive the due reward. The time for sleep is no more. The time for evil is no more. There is no time for laziness. The time of gossip has gone. This is the time to do only the things which are good. Let everyone be steadfast in doing good so that he may receive good reward from the hands of God. This is not the time for a child to serve his father or the father to serve his child. This is not the time for a husband and wife to serve each other. It is not the time for a servant to serve the master, but this is the time when everyone has to serve God diligently because for all the good things you do, you will be rewarded. This is the time you are judged for what you have done. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 to 4, it is stated that we should be examples to the world. It says, Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God. 
of great price. Brethren, with this advice, we should be watchful of what we do. The sheep which are entrusted under your care, you have to take good care of, so that when the chief shepherd comes, you may receive a crown of glory which fades not. This is the time to receive praise from God for the good things we do. This is the time of judgment. This is not the time for you to do things foolishly. It is not the time for stealing or prostituting. Neither is it the time for you to speak evil against another person. The time for evil is over. Whatever thing you do, the Lord is watching you. This gospel is the trumpet which the Father is sounding to those who were asleep, those who thought they were condemned, those who thought they were saved. This is the time for the roll call. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 1 to 2. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that are believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. Brethren, what you have to teach and exhort people as you go about is that anyone who as a master should serve him diligently lest because of his misdeed someone says something evil against God. If you abide by the gospel I am giving you now, being faithful to others, not stealing or telling lies, you will stand to receive the reward. Your father does something good to you and you claim that he is your father and thus sits down without reciprocating what he has done. If by your action people speak evil against God, you will be in problem all the time. Try to do that which is good because God is by the corner to reward everybody according to what he has done. This is the time of judgment. All the things we do individually, we stand to receive rewards from God. Nothing whatsoever you do is in vain. This is the time to receive reward for whatever thing we did. Whether you are a man or a woman, therefore let us serve God wholeheartedly without being weary. For every one of us has a gift from the hands of God. When you use your gift to serve God, you will receive rewards from Him. And if you do evil, you will receive the reward of evil. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God will not pass away until all be consummated. You have heard of a man who had three servants, and when he wanted to embark on a long journey, he gave the first servant five talents, the second two talents, and to the third, he gave one talent. The one who received five talents traded and made a gain of five more talents. The one with two talents traded and had two more talents again as gain. But the one who received one talent dug a, a hole in the ground 
and buried the talent. That he did with a curse, saying his master was wicked and wanted to reap from where he did not sow, and wanted to receive from where he never gathered into. Finally, the master returned from the journey to reward every servant according to what he had done in his absence. This is likened unto that case because the owner of the world has come to reward everyone according to what he has done. He has come to reward you according to how you use the ability he gave you. He will reward in time. He will reward in line with how best you have used the wisdom, the good health, the power, as well as the good things you have done. This is the time he has to reward you accordingly. If you had hidden your talent as that unfaithful servant, the gift will be taken away from you and given to another person. Therefore, do not doubt what you will see in the whole world because something spectacular has happened. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, Ephesians chapter 6 verses 5 to 8. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. You reap what you sow, brethren. Do not come in here to struggle for positions. Do not wish to be a chairman or a treasurer or a secretary here. Come in here to serve God truthfully because he is seeing all the things that you do and whatever you do you will receive the reward for whatsoever a man does he will receive his due reward. Your number of years in Brotherhood of the Christ and Star is irrelevant. The church you belong to is not the issue at stake. What matters is the good work you can boast of because you will only be rewarded for whatever thing you do. Whatever you are, all the things you do follow after you. If your work is good, you will receive a good reward from God and you will go home in joy. When you come in here and are given the feast, after eating it, you go away with both the spoon and plate. And where a part of the rice is not cooked, you equally go home with the remaining one. This is the time for you to receive the reward. This is the time of judgment. While you are operating in one direction, your wife is in another one. Your children equally operate in their different directions. Do not deceive yourself by rendering eye services here. Do not put on the white cloth to go about deceiving people, begging for arms. You break the tight boxes. When you go to somebody's house, he receives you in wholeheartedly and give his house keys to you. The moment he is out, you bolt away with all his belongings. You are surely going to be rewarded for all those things 
in no distant time you will soon see what will happen all the evil one will be eliminated from the surface of the earth in the nearest future there will be no more evil and so even as you come in here if you are not ready to receive these teachings you are not doing any person any harm but yourself and if you do not practice them will you receive the blessing meant for those who practice these teachings never bother yourself over anybody's behavior do not compel someone to do anything it is said that Christ will come back to take us to his father's kingdom this is the time and so he has come to judge and reward everybody according to one's deeds and place us in different mansions depending on what everyone has done <coughs> excuse me god does not consider whether you are a slave or freeborn or rich or poor small or great in his reward you are aware of the scriptural nomination quoted for the second lesson god does not cheat anybody do not cheat anybody do not do a thing so that people may praise you in everything you do make sure you do it with the fear of god wherever you may be serve god diligently always render services as if you are rendering it to christ because he will surely reward you irrespective of your status quo all the good things you do the same will he give back to you as reward that is why we work day and night no time to sleep and we always engage in doing good we do not fornicate we do not steal our life this is the time of joy for all those who serve the lord do not lament again do not be sorrowful and do not struggle for anything there is no discrimination in this kingdom always engage in doing good all those who prepare charms tell lies and fornicate and steal and commit all types of sins encounter a lot of problems do not complain of not having money to serve god the ability to sweep the floor is a gift of god the ability to fetch water for people is the work of god and so any good thing you do stand to receive reward from god one has to boast of what one has therefore do not say you have money or you do not have money do not speak evil about anybody but always give thanks to god in whatever circumstance you find yourself be humble and meek avoid flippancy do not be easily exasperated do not gossip because god does not want or cherish trouble what you sow same you shall reap avoid your old ways of living because we are now in a new world the world where one reaps what he sows all those who know that god is here on earth and do not fear his presence but rather choose to commit evil acts their time is up god has come to judge every man according to what he has done he is the king of kings and lord of lords and so he has arrived to reward every man for what he has done he does not respect person 
Read the golden text again. Golden text, Colossians chapter 3 verses 22 to 25. Servants obey all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. For ye serve the Lord Christ, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons, brethren, go from house to house and preach to the people to stop stealing, fornicating, telling lies, and committing sin, because the owner of the vineyard is here to reward everybody according to what he has done. Stop committing abortion. Stop fornicating. Do not harden your heart against God. This is not the time to disregard the word of God. All those who go about committing one crime or the other, extorting money from others, trading on human beings, robbing people, committing abortion, those who tell lies, conduct nepotistic tendencies, have hard times awaiting them because the supreme judge is around with his saints to judge the world and give everybody reward according to what you have done. This is the time every child of God has to hand over himself completely to God. Be humble, meek, love everybody, show mercy, be temperate, patient, and serve God with reverence and awe. The end of the world has come. What a man sows, same shall he reap. God does not respect persons. Whatever you may be, whether a governor or a president or a pope or a bishop, surrender yourself to God because he is no respecter of persons. Anyone who commits evil will be rewarded with evil. Whatever you may try to run away to, wherever you may try to run away to, you will be found and eliminated. Others accuse you of worshipping a man, and if you were not to worship a man, would you have existed till now amidst the oppositions from your adversaries? Wherever you may be, the Father is right there in the air, whether in water, in the house, or in the office, or in the bush, indeed. Everywhere you go, he is with you. Therefore, surrender yourself completely to him so that you will witness his glory in you. All those who engage in sins, realize that God is watching you and is, it, and is with his reward. Six days is for the thief, but the seventh day, is for the owner of the vineyard he will take you unawares discard all the evil tendencies you used to exhibit so that you might receive god's salvation all this time you have been committing these sins what other benefit do you derive apart from death and diverse problems what do you think you will lose in doing good? And what do you think you will benefit in committing evil? What I am giving out now is an open letter to the entire world to avoid the impending doom awaiting those who commit evil. 
The whole world is under the rulership of Christ and he has come to judge and reward the world for her deed, be it good or evil. Christ has good rewards to give to them that reverence and fear him. Those who obey his instructions and those who surrender themselves completely to him but to the proud and arrogant, those who do not fear him, people who continue in committing evil, he has equally come to give them reward which is commensurate with what they have done. It is said that God knows how to save those who reverence him, but reserve the wicked in punishment until the judgment day. That is why you are told that it should not be because of your action that people speak ill against God. As long as you do not practice the word of God but engage in committing sins, you will receive punishment. Use this last opportunity to save yourself from the impending doom which will come upon those who engage in evil. Always remember to pay your tithe, charity and free will offering. Be humble and meek. Avoid committing sin for there is no salvation in committing evil. God is the Almighty Recall how he hardened Pharaoh's heart so as to destroy him. He sent Moses to Pharaoh to seek the release of the Israelites. After proving his potency over Pharaoh, he released the Israelites. After the Israelites had left Egypt, he was the very person who made Pharaoh to seek to retrieve the Israelites. And so Pharaoh went after the Israelites. When the unarmed Israelites saw Pharaoh and his troops of army coming after them, they lost every hope of existence because they had the Red Sea as a barrier to their escape. God, however, exhibited his power by commanding Moses to strike the surface of the sea with his staff and immediately the sea was divided into two. This was how he saved his people. But for Pharaoh and his strong army, he buried them inside the sea even till this day. Therefore, he knows how to salvage those who fear and reverence him, but the wicked he preserves for judgment and condemnation. Christ is the same yesterday, today, and even forever. All the things that happened were so made to serve as examples to those who had the intention of committing the same thing. Therefore, this gospel is an open letter to the inhabitants of the world to stop committing evil because the owner of heaven and earth has come to judge the world and reward everyone according to his deeds. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Those who are here should go out with this gospel and disseminate it to others so that sinners may take stock of it and save themselves from the impending doom awaiting those who commit evil. What is surprising most is those who call themselves brother out of the cross and star yet refuse to believe in God. They continue in committing sins. What do you think about your life? You have been told 
not to be afraid of anything that can kill the flesh but cannot harm the soul but only fear he who is able to kill the flesh and cast the soul into hell fire and that of a truth is God. Are you not afraid of the presence of God on earth? You are hearing the daily happenings on this global earth yet you do not want to save yourself. Be informed that there is no forgiveness for the sins you have committed after knowing the truth. Spiritual quarrels. The battle is not fierce. The battle is not fierce. I will cross over the river with my sheep. Brethren, Jesus is a warrior. He will fight and conquer for his children. Beloved, it is said, a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. He was here, let him hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.